Hi, I'm Will, one of the engineers from Hill Pumps, and I'm going to show you how to change the temperature sensor on the EC3000. So what we're going to need for this is a 2.5mm Allen key, 4mm Allen key, a pair of needle nose pliers, our Hills Pump silicon grease, a pair of clippers, and a spare temperature sensor. So the first thing we're going to do is take this green towel off on the front of the compressor. For this next stage, it's essential that your compressor is not plugged in to the mains and that this switch is off. So what we're going to do now is take these four screws off the screen protector. And we're going to move the, remove this acrylic screen and then we're going to take the metal screen and turn it upside down. So the first thing, we, the first thing we're going to do is remove this connector here, which is for the temperature sensor. And we're just going to let the circuit board hang. So the next thing we're going to do is to cut the wire on our old temperature sensor. And we're going to use our needle nose pliers to remove the temperature sensor. And then we're going to remove the rest of the cable from the compressor. The next step is to remove these two cable ties connected to the fan. There's one at the top here. And there's another at the bottom down here. Once we've done that, we're going to take our new temperature sensor and feed it through the hole in the electric box. So now we're going to push the temperature sensor back through this rectangular hole in our electronic box. Because it might be a bit tight, you might have to push the cable through a bit so this tubing is outside of the box. Once you've done that, you should be able to take your temperature sensor and pass it through the rectangular hole in the box. Once you've done that, we're going to feed this temperature sensor back round and through between the head of the motor and the compressor and up through this tubing. And then once we've got it in this position, we're going to take our silicon gel and put a dab of silicon grease around the temperature sensor. We should then be able, with the needle nose pliers, to push the temperature sensor back in its hole on the compressor. and ensure it fits snugly in that hole. Now we can continue to wire the temperature sensor back up to the circuit board. So all we need to do is to take this white connector and insert it back into the PCB. Once that's done, we're going to just loop up this cable from the temperature sensor and stick a cable tie on it. We can then turn over the PCB, making sure all the wires fit into our electrical box. The next task, it might be a bit fiddly, is we're going to take a cable tie and we're going to take the temperature cable sensor cable and the pressure sensor cable and the first job we're going to do is take the cable tie through the top hole of the fan and we're going to cable tie up both 
the temperature sensor cable and the pressure sensor cable. And then we're going to do the same to both cables on the bottom hole in the fan. And then we're just going to clip off the ends. Once that's all done, we're ready to put the screen protector back on to the compressor. And next we're going to put the cowl back on the compressor. And after that, our temperature sensors should be good as new.